Hey, uh, Shalom Wong. Yasharala. You know, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashi Melshai Bashi Merchab Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace and mercy, salutations, and love unto you, Akim, that are doing the work of Yahweh Bashi Melshai. Okay, in sincerity and in truth. And I want to begin by calling, you know, calling out the tribes. All right? Uh, who they're known as today and who they are biblically, man. Because that's a very important thing and that's something that um, is hidden, okay? It's hidden, you know, from this world, man. Okay, you got, a, you know, you got a lot of people who believed in lies and these lies were pushed by the so-called white man. Esau, the Edomites, man, okay? And he himself is trying to hide, okay, and run away from his true identity biblically, man. Okay, and he hid the true identity of the Hebrew Israelites, man, and who they are today, man. But the Lord Yahweh Hashim Shai, because he kept his promise, because he remembered our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the promise that he made between them and unto all of his generations. Guess what? Today we're waking up and we're calling each other by the name of the Lord Yahweh Hashim Shai and who we are, man. Okay? And so, Judah, okay, is the so-called Negroes today, man. Okay? Who you call... Uh, niggas in America, man, okay, those are the real Hebrew Israelites, man, okay, Judah is so-called Negroes, Benjamin is so-called West Indians, man, okay, you got Levi is the so-called Haitians, okay, and Simeon is the so-called Dominicans, okay, and Zebulon is the so-called Guatemalans to Panamanians, man, okay, Ephraim is the so-called Puerto Ricans, Manasseh is the so-called Cubans, Gad is the so-called North American Indians, Reuben is a so-called Seminole Indians. Naphtali is a so-called Argentinian to Chileans. Asher is a so-called Colombians to Uruguay. And Issachar is a so-called Mexican, man. These people make the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These are the people that the Lord Yahweh is coming back to deliver. And majority of them today are still asleep, man. Like it says in the book of uh, Ezekiel, okay, the valley of the dry bones, man. Okay, who's going to wake them up? Okay. And so you are going to have the elect men who are going to wake up, okay, who, who is the remnant. And without them, okay, the Lord would have done away with Israel, man. But because of the elect's sake, okay, there's a chance for all of Israel to come back again, man. And actually, I'm going to begin with that. It says that in the book of Isaiah. Okay, and then from there on, Lord Yahabah Shema Shai Wolin, okay, I want to start reading the book of Leviticus chapter 26 and down because that's a very very important chapter man okay so the book of Isaiah chapter 1 okay Isaiah chapter 1 I'll start from verse 2 okay hear O heaven and give ear O earth for the Lord has spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Now this is beautiful, man, because it's all through the Spirit. But this goes and links exactly uh, into the book of uh, Leviticus, the 26th chapter, in which I was, you know, in which I was like a read, man. Okay? And so the Lord said what? That he had nourished, nourished up children, and they have rebelled against him, man. Who are those children? Those are the children of Israel, man. Okay, the people that are at the bottom today, and that's the reason why they're at the bottom, is because they have actually rebelled against the Lord, man. So it's just, it's the same thing, man. Like we always say over and over, we sound like a broken record, okay? If you have a son or a daughter and they go off, you as a father or a mother, your job is to discipline that child and make sure that and make sure that that child walks on that right path, man. Okay, but if you don't do shit, guess what? They become more and more and more hard-headed, man, okay, and they will not uh, keep your commandment, okay, they will continue to, they will continue to disobey you over and over and over again, man, okay, and that's what happened with the children of Israel, man, and so right now, okay, we are living in that period of being disciplined by the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai, because he cares about us, man, okay, if you read the book of Job, the fifth chapter, it talks about how that if you are being punished or if you are uh, getting chastised, happy are you, man, okay? So in the long run, this is good for us and for our people, man, okay? For, you know, um, in the long run, man, because this goes to show you, you know, 
that the Lord still cares, man. Okay, if you care about your daughter or son, you will discipline them. Okay, now does that mean that you're gonna like? Are you going to like whooping your child's behind? No. Okay, but it means what? It's for the better purpose, so that later on they be, you know, so that so so like so that later on they can become a better person, man. Okay, a better daughter or a better son. Okay, and they will do the same thing with their children and their children's children, man. And that's how you continue to build, okay, uh, a great line of children, man. Okay, and so the Lord said, What? Hear, O heaven, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. So the Lord compared okay uh the children of israel into uh, uh the ox okay the ox and what and the ass man which are considered to be one of the dumbest animals man they only know uh what's left or what's right when you whip them man with a stick when you control them okay so they know who their owners are but our people don't and what's an example of that our people want to worship the other uh gods okay they want to keep the customs of the heathen nations okay they want to do everything you know i'm a contrary you know to what the lord yahab ashim requires us man okay and that's something you know that you know that the lord you know from the beginning okay he gave us what commandments in which i'm about to read in the book of leviticus the 26th chapter and laws in which we must abide by man so that it's good for us man okay but if we don't keep his ways if we don't do the things that he said guess what when you go contrary to the scriptures when you go contrary to the heavenly father the creator of heaven and earth this is someone that knows everything about this place he built it he built you he knows everything about you so if he said don't turn left but go right and you do the opposite guess what you are doing it okay it's because of your fucking wicked okay but at the end of the day okay you're doing it you know to yourself you're only hurting yourself okay you recently had this uh jake rapper okay who's all bugged out i forget what his name was but he was pretty much saying that if the lord himself told him not to eat pork he's gonna give the lord the middle finger man okay and continue to eat pork so he's being proud man and recently he just came uh out of the condition of having cancer man okay and so our people continue to rebel against the lord over and over and over and over and over again man so what's best for them the lord already you know the lord already wrote it down man and that's to destroy them completely on this side and to be born again literally to be born again in the kingdom of heaven man if you are an israelite okay if you are one of the 12 shops of the, of the children of israel okay in which i've mentioned in the beginning of this video man okay and so he said what the ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib okay but israel doth not know my people doth not consider ah sinful nation a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backwards, man. Okay, so the Lord was said that you are a sinful nation, okay, children, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, man. Okay, and that's what you see today. You see a bunch of wickedness, man. Okay, people forgot about the Lord in this place, man. Okay, and if you are to put, you know, um, if you are to come to, uh, you know, I'm a, uh, what's the word? If you are to, you know, I'm a, pretty much like, I'm a speak about the name of the Lord or to proclaim, you know, that's the word, proclaim the name of the Lord, Yahab Hashim al in the open, people look at you like you're a bug out, man. Which goes to show you how backwards and contrary this place is to the Lord, man. That's why the Lord said what? That if you are a friend of this world, okay, you are an enemy of him, man. Okay? And so, it says, Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. And that's what you see, man. Over and over and over and over again, man. Our people keep going off and off and off. Okay, they ask to be delivered. They get delivered and then they go right back, right from the beginning where they fucked up, man. Okay? And so, guess what, man? The Lord... He said enough is enough 
okay? And so he brought his prophets out here, okay, to push this truth. And once everything is sealed and all the prophecies for this time comes to pass, guess what? Lord, the Lord, the Lord is going to deliver the elect, in which I'm about to read for the you know because of the remnant's sake, man. Okay, if it wasn't for the remnant, okay, everyone would be gone, man, destroyed, finished. Okay. And so it says, Why should you be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart faints, man. Okay? And it says, From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, man. Okay? So all of it, all of you, okay? Like as a whole, your body, okay? There's no soundness in it, man. The Lord is not happy. He's not happy at all, okay? And it says, But wounds and bruises and petrifying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither multiplied with ointments. Your country is desolate, your cities are burnt with fire, your land strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers, man. And that's exactly what I goes to show you and to prove unto you who are the children of Israel, man. Because the people that are living in Israel today, they are the strangers that devoured and they burnt that place, man, in the beginning, you know, before they uh, pretty much um, inhabited, man. Okay, hence why we fled into Africa, man. We fled into the mountains. Okay, 70 AD, you know, the Roman persecution. And it goes on and it says, And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. That's right, man. Okay? Besieged city. Destroyed. Okay? Destroyed. And it says, Except, this is the point, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant Another word for a remnant is elect, okay? So it says, except the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, had left unto us a very small remnant, which should have been like a Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. So if it wasn't for the elect's sake, okay, we would have been completely wiped out, like how Sodom and Gomorrah was wiped out, man. And why was Sodom and Gomorrah wiped out? It was wiped out because of its wickedness, man, because of its iniquity. Okay, and that's why the Lord destroyed that place. And guess what? No one ever uh, has inhabited Sodom and Gomorrah. And that was prophesied, man. You know, that the Lord was going to wipe it away and no one's going to be able to dwell there. And that's exactly what's going to happen unto America, man. America will be completely wiped out. But guess what? Only the desertous creatures are going to be able to dwell in America. But no human being is going to be able to dwell and live in America anymore once World War III okay uh pretty much uh is uh you know uh accomplished and come to pass but okay huh, you know so that was the point now i want to get the book of uh book of leviticus and this is beautiful because this is um before deuteronomy and this links with deuteronomy when the lord talked about pretty much what will happen if you keep his commandments and what will happen if you don't keep his commandments man okay it's your studio's got air conditioning what's that your studio is air conditioned oh yeah definitely it is Hey, it is air conditioned, man. You know, the Lord Yahweh is the one that's protecting me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, the Lord said what? You know, that the angels in the camp is right about them that fear him, man. Okay? So the angels look after us, man. Okay, whether it's fucking minus 30, 35 out here, if it's cold as hell, you know what? We come out here through the spirit, man. Okay, the spirit, you know, keeps us warm. You know, the love for this truth keeps us warm. Okay, and when it's in the heat, the love of this truth keeps, you know, uh, keeps us cool. Okay, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, Salakia, that's a Deuteronomy, Salakia, the book of Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Okay, and it says, 
ye shall make you no idols nor graven images okay now what does that mean because you got some people who will read that and be like oh you can't have any pictures in your house you know you can't uh, have any uh, you know um, statues or you know uh, things in your house you know that's not what that means what it means is that if you worship them that's when you go off if you have an image of a person or of a so-called god okay in this world and you worship it you know you know i'm a, you know, I'm a that's when you're going off man okay and so it says ye shall have no idols nor graven image neither near you up a standing image neither near you up a standing image neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it and that's the point to bow down unto it for I am the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah your power okay so the Lord said what don't have any idols don't have any graven images and bow down unto it why because the Egyptians these heathen nations do that shit man and the Lord does not want us to do that okay the Lord kept us separate from them how many times in the scriptures does it say that man that the Lord chose Israel and that he kept them separate from these heathen nations if the Lord loved everyone why did he destroy the Egyptians okay when they were out there chasing the children of Israel so that they can be be uh, their slaves again and again why did the Lord destroy them man if he loved everyone the point is what the Lord Yahweh keeps us separate from these people so he doesn't want us to keep their customs and to worship uh, their gods and their images man okay and it says you shall keep my Sabbaths man okay and reverence my sanctuary for I am the Lord okay so the Lord said what to keep his Sabbath okay the Sabbath comes what after the new moon okay once it's a new moon you know that's the Sabbath and then you count down you know uh, seven days later sundown to sundown is the Sabbath man okay and it says what you know and so uh, the Sabbath right now is uh, what uh, Wednesday sundown to Thursday sundown man. you know and so it says what if ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then will I give you rain in due season. So the Lord said what, man? That if you keep his commandments, okay, if you keep his ways and you do them, then he will give you rain in due season. What does that mean? That what your land is going to flourish. You will have fruits in the land, okay? You will have water, okay? And so all of these things are what? Beneficial to life. That's if you keep, if you keep the commands of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. But if you don't, what happens? Okay, when you don't get rain or uh, in a desert, what happens? There's no life. Okay, there's no life. And it says, "Then will I give you rain in due season, and the land shall field her increase, and the trees." of the field shall yield their fruit and that's my point man yeah, you know the that's the point is what that the lord is going to give you fruits man okay uh deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 14 says this Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 14 it says that I will give you the rain of your land in his due season the first rain and the latter rain that thou mayest gather thy corn and thy wine and thine oil and that's the point you know all of these things come what from rain man because what it needs to uh, you know I'm a flourish and you know that's when you know um you will be able to harvest you know uh, what you've sowed man okay you need rain in order to have food in order to have wine okay in order to have oil you know water is very uh, one of the things that we need to live man without water you could die you know and 
you can learn that in like uh, grade four of science, man. you know. And it says. Verse 5 here in the book of Leviticus 26, it says, And your threshing, and your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, that ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. Okay? And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid, and I will rid evil beasts out of the land neither shall the sword go through your land okay so the Lord is gonna what protect us in other words man okay you're not gonna have no harm come unto you whether it's by the animal or by the heathen nations coming to attack you in war okay the Lord will protect us And it says, And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Okay, so in time of danger, guess what? The Lord is going to protect us, man. Whether that's he's going to pretty much use the angels to fight for us like he did in the book of uh, Samuel, if I'm not mistaken, or Kings. Okay, either way, the Lord is going to protect us, man. When, you know, um, in time of danger. Okay? Because he loves us. And it says, and ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. So this right here goes to show you the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. If the Lord loved everybody, why would he do this special thing unto Israel? Because this right here shows favoritism. It shows favoritism, man. Between the children of Israel and the rest of the world, man. And it says, For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. See? The Lord is going to have what? Respect unto the children of Israel, man. Okay? Because of what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, they've played a huge, a very important role for the whole children of Israel, man, all of them as a whole, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, them three, forefathers, they've played a very, very special role, okay, in our lives, man. And it says, And ye shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you and will be your God, your power, and ye shall be my people. Okay? And he goes on to say, I am the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, your power, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not, that, that ye should not, should not be their bondmen. And I have brought the bands of your yoke and made you go upright, man. Okay? So the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, said what? That he brought us out of the land of Egypt, you know, so that we uh, should not continue to be slaves unto them, man. And he brought us, okay, and he took, and he took those chains off of us so that we could go upright, man. Go the right way, man. Okay? And it says, but if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments. So now this goes to show you, uh, you know, what happens when you don't keep the commandments of the Lord Jehovah Shema Shema. Okay. And it says, But if, if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, okay, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and burning ague, and ye shall cons that shall consume the eyes. You know? Hi, hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Not bad. You know? 
So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al said what? That if you don't keep his commandments, okay, these are the things that he's going to do. And, you know, there's a list. There's a list of things that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, he said that he will do uh, if you continue to go off against him. So he says what? I will also do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, okay? Terror, consumption, and the burning ague that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow to of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain. Having children will be in vain because your enemies are going to come and put them to death, man. And that's what happened in the time of Pharaoh, man. Okay? When Moses was born, man. Okay, he appointed that what? That our children be put to death. Because they were afraid that, you know, the more we multiplied, okay, that we were going to pretty much come up against them and fight alongside their enemies and beat them, man, in time of war. And kill them in time of war, you know. And so right here it said what? That what? Our children and and it says, and ye shall sow your seed in vain. Okay, you know, that could literally mean, you know, uh, when we go to pretty much, you know, I'm a plant and harvest fruits and stuff, okay, or actual seed, your sperm, man, right? okay, for your enemies shall eat it, okay, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies, that they that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you, man. Right? So we're going to run for our lives when no one pursues us, which goes to show you that what is having that terror in our minds, man, is going to bug us out, man. Okay, that curse is going to pretty much uh, overtake our people, man, you know. And it goes on to say, And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Seven means what? Completion. So for your sins, the Lord is going to punish you even more than what you're supposed to receive, man. Seven times more. You know, what he sees fit as a punishment. In other words, man. Okay. And he says, and I will break the pride of your power. And I will bring your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. Okay. We're right now living in hell, man. But guess what? The so-called white men and these heathen nations are living in their heaven, man. So although we're here in the earth, we're at the bottom, man, as brass. Okay? And it says, and your, and your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. Okay? And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins, man. So even if you don't, you know, I'm going to keep, keep, keep the ways of the Lord, Jehovah, and you continue to go off, the Lord is going to do more and more, man. Okay? And it says what? And it says, and I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall, ro which, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number and your highways shall be desolate man so you're gonna have all types of uh things you know that's gonna come up against us man okay the animals are gonna pretty much you know i'm a, you know i'm a, they're also you know gonna come up against us because the lord yahaba shima shai is gonna set their eyes to be uh, evil towards us man okay <laughs> and even you know you have that amongst our own people man you got jake on jake crime Okay, you got Judah and Ephraim not getting along whatsoever, okay? But the Lord is bringing that closely, bringing uh, the head of the southern and the northern kingdom, you know, tribe together, okay? Uh, through the prophets out there in the hands of the Bible is preaching. But the bug outs, the two-thirds, they still be hating on each other, man, okay? Which was prophesied, man, okay? That the brother, her... You know, uh, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and so on and on. Like it says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. Okay. And it says... 
And it goes on and it says, And if ye will not, and if ye will not be reformed by me, by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then will I walk contrary unto you, and will punish you seven times more of your sins. And I will bring the sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant, man. And when ye are gathered together within your, your cities, I will send a pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered unto the hand of the enemy, man. Okay? And that's what happens, you know, our people are going to flee. You know, and that's what happened, man. When the Sokawa men brought us into slavery, guess what, man? Our people were destroyed. You know, we were destroyed. But guess what? The Lord Yahabba Shina Shai, He is just. Okay, so He is just and He will, you know, uh, give us a power again. But right now, you know, because we fucked up and we went off, the Lord got to punish us, man. You know, us going into slavery. There's just, you know, that's going to happen unto that, man. The so-called uh, Native Americans, you know, that were put to death in this land. The Lord is going to avenge, okay, and bring justice unto that, man. Okay, you have people, you know, who are just roaming around, walking, you know, having a good time out here in downtown. Okay, scoffing. Okay, the Lord has uh, justice, okay, unto the elect men. Okay, unto the prophets, I should say. Lord, you have Hashem and Shaul, and you know that I'm a part of that. Okay, and a part of the elect men. Okay, the Lord is going to bring justice unto us, man. Okay. And it says, and when... And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread by weight, and ye shall eat and and not be satisfied. That's right, man, because we gotta pay for everything, man. You know? Majority of our people don't have money like that, man. Okay? Majority of our people are living at the bottom, man. Okay, we're living at the bottom, you know, we don't have much. Why? Because of the curses, man. The curses is what's playing out. And it says, verse 27, And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary to me, then will I walk contrary unto you also in fairy, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall you eat, man. You know, cannibalism, and that actually happened, man. Okay, in time of, I forget exactly which it was, but you know, uh, there was a hurricane, you know, that happened, and majority of our people went starving, man, not having much. And so they started eating their children, man. Okay, and this is something that people might think it's far-fetched, but nah, man. That's something that will happen in this land, because guess what, even the stores out here, they only have food uh, being able to last for three days, and that's if everyone takes the same portion every day. Can you imagine in an hour when all hell breaks loose, everyone is going to rush into these stores to grab food, man. And that's when there's no loss anymore, chaos. You know, so people are going to be able to do whatever the hell they want, man. And it says, verse 30, And I will destroy your high place, and cut down your images, and cast your curses upon the curses of your idols, and your soul sh and my soul shall abhor you. So the Lord does hate, man. You got people who say, you know, that the Lord just loves and he has no other type of emotion, which is wrong, man. The Lord is angry, man. He's pissed off. You know? He's pissed off, but people think that the Lord just loves and that's it, man. That's not what the scripture says. You know? And it says, And I will bring your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. And I will make, and I will not smell the Savior of your sweet orders. And I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies shall dwell therein, shall be astonished at it, man. Okay? The Lord is pissed off, man. You know? The Lord is not happy with this place, man. 
people just roaming around thinking everything is all good, man. You know, shit is not good. Shit is not good at all. And it says, verse 33, And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. And that literally happened, man, to our cities, the land of Israel. We had to flee okay, into all of these parts of the world, man. Everywhere you go in this world, you have Israelites, man. And guess what? We're all going through those curses. Those curses are not coming off of us because we look like some of the heathen nations, man. Those curses are still on us, man. That's how the Lord does business. Okay? Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath. <coughs> then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath as long as it lieth desolate. And ye shall be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbath, man. Because what? After every seven years, you're not supposed to uh, plant fruit in a land. So the Lord said what? That when the land is desolate, it's finally going to get its rest, man. Okay? But wherever we are, we're going to catch up, you know? But, you know, I just wanted to go over that, you know, and I'm sure there's more. There is more. Lord, you have a Shimon Shah you know, um, I do a separate video or I continue on this next week out here in the house in the palace, man. Okay? But, you know, I just wanted to go over that because, you know, these are things, you know, that's very important in the times that we're living in, man. The times that we're living in is very dangerous, man. Okay? All hell is going to break loose very soon. You know, people, uh, you know, like I said, are roaming around laughing, holding hands and shit. Okay? But that's not so. That's not the times that we should be in, man. So with that, all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Al-Shai, Bashim, Rechakudash, double honor to the apostles, and also great millstone, and peace and mercy, salutations to you brothers, man. Until next time, Shalom, Al-Mihab, Bashim, Al-Shai, Shalom.